we're seeing an almost 100% increase in our inbound call bookings. Now, this happened at a very critical stage or time for us. We really needed this book, this boost after the last quarter. Now, we changed five things that made this happen for us and hopefully they'll work for you as well. The first one, we started using a lot more contextual messaging. For example, this set of series, the series of videos is meant to target the current market scenario, right? So if, if, is there something in your market similarly that has changed that you can talk about? Next, we started thinking of channels much more or marketing much more as multi-channel instead of single. And yes, everyone talks about omni-channel, but I'll explain this. Right? For example, if are there any channels using which you've generated interest, but they're not really, they haven't converted or they haven't converted yet. And then think of, can you use a different channel to capitalize on that? And I'll give you an example for this, right? So let's say you're running ads, you're running inbound marketing, you're running ads on LinkedIn, for example. Now, through these ads, uh, let's say people have come to your website, have clicked on your content, engaged, but they haven't rate converted. Can you reach out to them via outbound? Or maybe using third part or like, you know, first party intent data or something. And then can you just sort of capitalize through de-anonymization or something on the same thing that's already been working? Three, go extremely, extremely scrappy. So again, obvious, but optimize everything. Uh, make sure first that your basics are in place. And second, make sure that you're also doing things beyond the basics. And at least for ads, we'll, the next series up after this will share exactly what to do and how you can get the ROI of ads at at least double the ROI of ads. So keep an eye out for that. Now, the f next thing is don't start experimenting. It's natural to stop right now. And that's what, because, you know, you don't have the budget, but this is what will really help you in the long term. This might help uncover some opportunities of things that have changed that are working now, weren't working earlier, or even things, just new opportunities that you hadn't discovered earlier, right? And the last thing that we've done is we're thinking more long term. So instead of looking at marketing as more SQL focused, we're sort of looking at and yes, we've seen an increase in SQLs, but we're sort of measuring more engagement of different accounts. Now, this may be, for example, uh, there may be a lot of instances where you haven't seen people come in immediately, but are the right companies visiting? Are they really engaging with your content? Do they like what they are seeing? So that's it. it it's as simple as that. We made these five changes, really just sort of sit down with these five things and look at every marketing channel. Can you implement this in different places? Now, hopefully it's going to help you as much as it helped us. If you have any questions on the specifics of how we did this across different channels, feel free to reach out to me. I'm the founder of a marketing agency. We help B2B SaaS companies with ads and SEO. That is inbound marketing. Now, the reason why we're sharing this is because... We're just trying our best to help companies thrive in the current market. This, prob this video is probably the last video in a series of ungated content that will help you with exactly this, right? Now, you should find a playlist of everything we've published in this series in the comments. And the next series we publish is going to be a list of advanced techniques, as I promised, to increase the ROI of your performance marketing that is ads by a lot. So keep an eye out for it. So that's it. Thank you.